hello guys kindly check this application out when we say check it strikes the thirst likewise you can see guys so that is that guys let's develop this using react hooks if you want to type along with me kindly install tailwind css forms now a quick one with the tailwind css forms let's go to google then paste it there go to the npm after the npm installation you copy this require okay you copy this require then you go to tailwind.config file and paste it there so this is mine so that is that guys with all said and done let's begin thank you very much let's begin by creating two photos in our SLC folder call the first one assets then call the second one components now let's take the first one assets we have this project we have no spinners or images so we leave it blank move to the second one components create a file and call it line to app dot js so with array fce instead of another d why don't we make it react or fragment so inside i will create a section and give it a div and say hello let's connect that to the app.js to view on the screen so right here we call line to app then we import line to app here we import line to from where from component then run through app let's check our screen if we got hello on the screen great we got hello on the screen so what we need to do now is to realign everything this is the mobile first so 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 let's do the averages so instead of this hello let's use this d for a background so let's give this d a class name bg white with auto height auto pb10 mt28 mx5 and rounded lg so let's inside that we can have our header section so we say header section Good. so let's create a div for the header yeah so we give it a p tag and call it line to app now let's give this p tag class name uppercase font board text for excel test center so that let's give it some height so we go to this div and give it a class name height 24 flex justify center item center and some shadow so that is that for the header now let's go to the next one which is the body section now with the body section let's give it a d now inside this div let's give it another d then over here we can have an input and a p type so we have an input type checkbox class name with system height system and rounded lg then a p tag make given checkbox one with a class name text for sl so now let's flex this so to flex this let's use this class name let's use this div and give it a class name so we say so flex space for x4 and justify center so that is that let's duplicate this four more times so we copy that then we say next one is what uh, checkbox two section checkbox two section okay. then we paste it there the next one is going to be checkbox three section section paste it there next one is going to be check for four section and paste it there so that is that now let's align everything to the center so let's go to the appearance div over here then give it a class name grid justify center space y5 and empty 10 so that is that our checkboxes are ready 
now let's change this to one two three let's first one is one second one became two three then four Good. so that is that so next let's create a state Good. then our state we say we say const checked comma set checked because you state into bracket false so next let's give it a name value and unchange so we say if we take the first input then we say over here we can say give it a name name is goes check box one check box one then give it a value value give it equals to what now value is what um check dot check box one okay so next let's give it uh on change on chain let's say handle change okay so let's copy this for the address too we go to the next one now we paste it after the input we paste it there it's going to be name is going to be check box two and check box two then handle chain okay that is the third one let's paste it there so we have um name is going to be what three then check dot check box three then handle chain again that's one four paste it there name is going to be check box four then check dot check box four handle chain so that is that now let's create a function for the handle chain so we go up here then say um, const handle change equals to a function what we're going to say set checked into bracket give us all the value of what check and event the target so because the, so you need to put the event here too so event event dot target the name should be given a value event dot target dot checked so we can check it out when i i can console log checked here so i will check it out so we say console oh sorry console dot log to bracket we say check then come on check Good. Now let's check it out. We go to our console. When we say check, we say the value changes. You see, you can see check one is true. You can see check two is true. Check three is true. And check four is what? Also true. So that is that, guys. Ah, uh, check is working. So next, we create a condition in such a way that when the line, the input is checked, we have a line true in the test. So to do that, we go to the. Uh, let's take the first one, which is the uh, in the body section. We say check box one. Now check box one has uh, the test over here. So the test we need to make the test. The test is now test for Excel. Let's make it dynamic. So we say we take the uh, this is off then give it now then we introduce the, the dynamic code dynamic code is down the escape button so we say we call down dynamic code then inside that we can call dollar and bracket then we say if bracket we say check dot check box one box one equals equals what two then what outside the bracket then what give us a class name line two otherwise do nothing 
so that's why let's check it out so when we say check box one we check it you can see the line show so you're going to copy this condition for the others too so let's do that go, let's make it bigger copy this condition then we go to the next one check box two we paste it there good so this place is too good next one three paste it there and we say check box three next one we paste it there four so now we change it this one to screen four then go up three then up this is two right last one is one so that is that let's check it out you can see guys app is working finally let's make our app responsive then we say yes so to do that let's go to the mother div over here then give it class name so we say at small screen give us the width for medium screen give us the width for fifth at medium screen give us the mx auto and as last screen give us the width to fit then at the same last screen give us the mx auto so that is that let's check it out good you can see guys so that is that guys thank you for sticking through please don't forget to do good catch you in the next one peace